Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Target haul for you guys. I'm super excited. I just want to share what I got from Target if you're interested. I'm always interested in what people pick up from Target because I'm always at Target. So I just wanted to show you what I got. I got a couple clothing items that I try on for you guys and then I will show you some beauty stuff that I picked up and then some... I don't know, like lifestyle stuff. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching and let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the clothing items first. So the first item I'm gonna show you is this romper I have on right now. Um, I will show a clip of it, but it's just a really cute romper and the sleeves are kind of belled and I really, really like it. So hopefully you guys can see this okay. So this is the romper. It's really cute. It goes off the shoulder. The sleeve is a little bit belled, so that's really cute. It is a little large on me. This, I got a... I got a size medium, $24.99. Um, a little, it's a little bit big, but I kind of like that sometimes. I kind of like when the rompers are a little bit roomier and they're not so like um, tight on my thighs because I have really big thighs. Next up is this dress right here. Up, oh, this is from Exhilaration. You probably can't see but I picked this up in the store only because I felt like it was giving me free people vibe free people vibes but you will see what it is on it kind of fits just a little bit funny so I haven't decided if I am gonna return it or not I just need to like figure out a bra situation next up is this dress right here um I have a strapless bra on don't ask me why because I was wearing it in the other one the only thing is is this boob situation <laughs> like it cuts like right where my boob is and I'm pretty sure my boob is supposed to be up here. So I just have to figure that out. Probably a better supportive bra uh, will do the trick, but it's really cute. It kind of gives me like free people vibes, which is why I picked it up and I got a size medium and it was $27.99. Next up is this uh, top right. Ooh. Right here, it is like a striped off the shoulder top. I wore this in one of my videos already. The only issue I have is that I need, again need to figure out a bra situation. That is always my problem. Like I always need to find a bra situation. So I will show it to you on, but it's super, super cute. I really, really like it. Next up is this top right here. I need to figure out like a bra situation because this like does not work for me. Like I have a strapless bra on, but like look how low my boobs are. But if you don't have big boobs like me, I think that this would be really great. Or if you um, have already solved your problems with strapless and you have a good strapless bra, then you wouldn't have this problem. And next up, I got a pair of jeans. I honestly really, really love their high rise jegging crop i really like the crop because i'm short i'm only five foot so i really really like the crop so it always hits me right at my ankle like exactly where i want it to be like it's not cropped on me and i like the high rise jegging only because i like it to like suck in my stomach but with this one though i okay so i'm usually a four in this i decided to go up a size and do a six only because I knew that this was gonna like show every imperfection so I didn't want it to be super tight but now I'm thinking I should have just stayed true to a four because it kind of bunched and stuff you will see what it looks like on but I don't know I don't know how I feel about this right now then these are the pants they're okay I like them um, they kind of emphasize my stomach right here which I don't really like I haven't really decided I always really love Target jeans um, and yeah i went a size up in these though only because they are white they're not very tight on my ankle and so i don't know we'll see this top though right i don't know about this top so those are these are those i have these are those i have a bunch of these i just never bought i have the jeggings in white but they're like a low rise and i don't wear them anymore so i saw these are high rise i'm like oh but i'm not really liking the way that they high rise so I don't know, this is kind of a bust, isn't it? And finally, I picked up this top, which is from that brand. Here, I'll show you the top. It is from that brand, Knox Rose. I don't know, I was just, it was actually as I was leaving the department, I was like, hmm, that kind of looks pretty cute. So it looks like this. It's actually not really cute. I don't really like it. So I think I'm just going to return it. You will see what it looks like tried on, but. Okay, and then next up is this top right here, which... Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about it either. It's actually really cute from the back. If you can see that, like it kind of 
comes out and stuff which is really cute but like I don't know the front makes me feel kind of I don't know maybe I could wear this to like work or something but I don't know how I feel about the top itself I just don't know if this cut on me is really the best I never buy anything from that Knox Rose and I don't know I like I thought maybe it was like free people you know no that was all the clothes I picked up and hopefully that was my, like, my first try on. I've never like tried on clothes before only because I'm conscious about my body and whatnot but to be honest like I love look I love watching videos of girls trying on clothes that have similar body types to mine so that I can get like kind of a gauge if it's gonna fit me right or kind of what they grab for um to fit their body so I figured there's gotta be some people out there who's got my body type short big thighs self-conscious about their stomach and big boobs, right? You guys are out there, right? Anyways, okay, so moving on, let's go on with some beauty products. So here are just, this is one of, these are just two basic things that I usually pick up from Target. One is the NYX Micro Brow. I did a brow routine, if you guys are interested, I will link it down below, but I, I always use this brow pencil. I, I really, really love it, and I get it from Target now, which is awesome, I don't have to go to Ulta. So I picked that up, I get the color Brunette. And then I always pick up a pack of these Ardell Wispies. I go through these like crazy. I try to use them at least two, three times a pair, but like they get lost or they're I stuck them somewhere and I don't remember. So I like to pick these up. These are on sale too. They're like 10 something. I don't know what they are normally, but that's how much I pay for them. And then you get four pairs. So I just buy them in bulk, you know, buy them in bulk. Next thing is I repurchased this guy. I mentioned him in my empties video actually and I saw him at Target and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna buy it here. Whatever. I'm just gonna buy it here. So this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. For some reason, I remember someone telling me that you shouldn't buy high-end hair products at Target or like at like Walmart or something because they're not really true is that right like where did i hear that i don't know anyways i bought it and it it works the same way as my other one did so i don't know then next up are these two products that i've never seen before at target i pretty sure they're new. This is um, by the brand Kristen S. I just saw it there in like the more high-end hair care aisle and I was like, hmm. So this is those, the first thing I got was the Kristen S Signature One Conditioner. And what I really like about it is how much it smells so good. Oh my God, I already have been using it. That's why it's wet. But I really, really like it and liked it too because it said it was sulfate free. I try to use sulfate free conditioner and shampoo because I feel like it doesn't strip the color out of my hair because this isn't my natural hair color. So yeah, I don't know. I've really been liking it. Um, it was kind of expensive though, so I don't know if I will repurchase it. We will see. It is making my hair soft. It isn't, I feel like though it's not making it as soft as um, that L'Oreal one that's in the, like the black bottle put a picture of it right here that one leaves my hair super super soft but the thing is I used to be buying the L'Oreal sulfate free um total care I'll put it right here what it is and those are so expensive I mean, you don't even get that much in that bottle and I didn't even realize that so I was like wow I've been like wasting away my money and I didn't even know it so I was like no wonder I go through these through through these so fast and they're like $6.99 each I don't know, I kind of hopped off that train. Honestly, like the smell smells so good and like it stays in your hair afterwards. It's awesome. And then I also picked up her signature finishing spray. I thought that maybe this was going to be more of a lighter hairspray because I'm running out of my living proof finishing spray. But it is a lot more stronger, so keep that in mind. This is a lot more stronger, and I think this was $14, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I mean, it. Uh, I sprayed my hair today with it, and I think it is a really nice hold, so I really like that. And it has the same smell as the conditioner, which is what I really liked. And then I picked up two more things. I used to have this notebook that I would just like write random things in, like lists, videos I wanna film, or ideas or anything like that and Lexi chewed it up one day yeah so I needed to get a new one so I picked up this one right here it's just notes it's called Cambridge edition it has like um, a date thing on top I'm not really about that life I just wanted a notebook like a cute little notebook but I guess you could like circle the date that um, what date you wrote it in there and stuff but for like wedding planning and stuff I like to have like kind of just like a, a notebook to just take along with me and stuff because 
in case I just want to like write out what I have to do or what I still have to buy and like especially like YouTube videos if I get an idea for a video I like to just like write it down all that kind of stuff or like if there's a product I want I just write it down and I picked up <laughs> this little calendar so I had a I had a planner and Lexi chewed that up as well like the spiral isn't on it anymore but in all honesty I didn't really use like the individual days only because I'm not in school anymore and I have my own calendar like system at work so this was like the last one there and I saw it and it's like this cute like look at how cute this is it's like a cute little calendar and all it is is just here right here you just have the days um the days the months so can it flip please yeah it just has the months so this is exactly what I wanted because like I have to keep track of like all my weekends because I'm starting it's starting to fill up and stuff and especially with like the wedding and stuff I just want to make sure that I'm organized and I'm not missing something so yeah I picked up that okay that was it you guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys liked this little mini target little target haul I don't know maybe I'll keep doing this every time I go to target because I don't know I know you're nosy too so yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!